Thank bow you. down to this dress. Oh my God. Okay, I'm not supposed to ask this first, but I can't help it. You can't walk up to me looking like this and me not ask head to toe what is going on. Thank you so much. You know, I saw this dress walk down the red carpet in Paris at the Valentino Haute Couture show, and I just my jaw dropped and I looked over at my stylist who was sitting, uh, sitting a few uh, seats away and she just mouthed me. And I was like, yes, I just knew. I mean, it, I'm wearing a swim cap for God's sakes. Baby, you are doing it well too, I'm wearing it, it well. Flash. <laughs> I love oh, it. No. I love it. Okay, so you said before you were kind of familiar with the superhero genre, but you were a little unsure about it. What made you say for this one, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm in. You know, I uh, I knew I was in, well, I knew I was interested when Zack Snyder, who did Justice League, called me and, you know, pitched it to me at first. He said, you know, I heard a comic book, and I heard, ah, you know, I don't know if that sounds like my kind of world. It seems like the, the you know, the most complex, flu, uh, flushed out nuances of, uh, of women in that role, in that world are really the representational of the imagination and, and wisdom of a 14 year old boy the audience are made meant to appeal to typically and then he said no no that's not her she's a warrior queen and i said wait so i get a sword and a crown and i knew i was i knew i was interested and then i read in the comic book my first comic book ever and they, we meet her and the villager or the um the townspeople say is that is that aqua woman and she stops and turns around and she says I have my own name. I'm not Aqua Woman. I have a name. I'm Mira. And she's, that, that's my kind of woman, you know? She's empowered. She womans up. She's her own superhero. She, she doesn't need anyone to save her. She is, she's a badass character. Speaking of, I almost stood up and cheered today when I saw you respond to folks that were being just ridiculous and unfair about your fashion choices. Why did you feel like, I need to say something? Because, I mean, you guys can push a lot of stuff away, but why did you need to say something? You know, I thought I thought it was a, I don't care what people have to say about my fashion choices. I dress for my own self. However, to say I had a malfunction because you can see my body, I'm not ashamed of it. I don't care how it looks to you or the effect it has on you. How dare you tell me it's a malfunction. My nipples or any other part of me are not a malfunction. Amen, amen, and amen. You have just become my favorite person, girl. <laughs>